Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to go over some a pretty advanced insight, but it really showcases the power, like the analytical power that you have with Power BI. I mean, it's absolutely incredible what you can discover. I mean, you just got to let your mind explode with possibility when you see the analysis that you can achieve. And that's what I really want to showcase today. Now, I'm going to go through um, by, by detailing what I've created here. I'm going to go through some advanced steps so um, and it's a combination of advanced steps but in doing it so it allows me to really showcase uh you know what you can achieve and it's it's obviously stuff that i really like um show you know doing myself and working out myself etc so um so it's easy you know it's 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 a it's a good opportunity for um, me to showcase some of the um your more advanced work that i do on a on a day-to-day -day basis okay so what are we, what are we, what are we trying to uh, what insight are we trying to achieve here? Is well, it is uh, trying to discover well is our revenue growth profitable, right? Because there's no point. This is a perfect example of, of, of where insights are so important. Because there's no point in growing from a revenue perspective if your profits aren't growing, right? So some ways some ways say that that is um, that is that is debatable. Some um, you know startup companies or companies like Uber, for example. But anyway, in general, in general. If you uh, want, if you're going to increase your revenue, you, you want to make sure that your profits grow as well. So what I've done is I've I've worked it out from a holistic perspective for so overall, say company growth, um, and, and and company profit growth, and but I've also broken it down by customer, right? Because for instance, if you're uh, you you know you 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 yes you might be overall growing from a revenue and profitability perspective, but there could be some underlying customers or products that you're selling which aren't and you probably want to discover those and get rid of them or um, or exit that customer so on and so forth so those these are amazing insights that you can you can achieve um, from, from doing this sort of analysis okay so let's jump in let's let's have a look at the functionality so I've got so my overall revenue growth here and then this is my profit growth number so overall we are growing from a revenue perspective and uh, our profits are, are also growing and then what I've done here is I've put some advanced logic and I've said, okay, well, which of my um, profits growth was above zero uh, dollars and which was my uh, profit growth below zero dollars from a customer perspective. So I've analyzed all my customers. I've said, okay, well, um, which profits have increased versus which have decreased. So there's a lot, if we come over to the chart here, there's a lot which have actually decreased. Um, but remember what we're trying to see, see here is that could be to to do with revenue decreasing as well but what we want to discover okay well where is revenue increasing but profitability decreasing so that's the that's the particular insight so and then i've broken it down i can have a look at each individual customer here and we're looking at the um, underlying profit growth but what we can do what we can do with this chart here is i can dive into so i can say okay well let's have a look at the decrease customers that decrease profit so I can click in there and you can see that in this um, in the scatter chart I've got our profit growth so you can see here that these are, this is where the profits are declining because they're all negative but then on my um, uh, other axis I think uh, is it the that's a y axis um, uh, you can see the year on year growth so we think about the customers that we're trying to drill into here we're trying to drill into these customers here where the growth was positive but the um, the revenue growth was positive but the profit growth was negative and we can actually drill even further by using the visual level filters here and i can say okay well uh, let's have a look at the um let's have a look at the year on year growth and let's say it's greater than say zero and you'll see these are the particular customers that we need to understand. Okay, well, why is their profit growth higher whilst their revenue, their revenue growth is, is um, has gone up? So let's have a look, and we can. I've even set up the tooltip in here, and I can say, okay, well, uh, this customer has. Well, you see that the profit growth hasn't actually changed a significant amount, but it's interesting that their revenue growth has gone up so much. So, so, so what? So I guess the the, the answer there is, what's the point? What's the point in increasing the revenue to this customer of our profits? have an increase so that's a that's a good question to ask and you know a, a, a good actionable thing that you can try and work out internally okay so pr pretty good functionality right um, we can also have a look you know at the aboves and having and have trying to understand what's going on there so there's so there's heaps of different ways you can s slice and dice this 
Now, how do they do it? Well, there's heaps of steps, right? So I'll try and go through most of them. But first of all, you've got to set up just your, your general core calculations. So I've gone with total sales and I've worked my way to total profits. Uh, I've demoed that many, many times. And then we've got to work out just the standard year-on-year -year growth from a revenue perspective, right? So all I did there was I then went sales last year. And so that's the um, Q, that's the use, just using data. It's a time intelligence function. And then from there, I was able to work out the year-on-year -year growth. And so you'll see here that I've gone total sales minus sales last year divided by sales last year. And so that's going to give me the percentage year-on-year -year growth, right? And then we've got to jump to the profit growth as well. So remember, we've got total profits here. So we've got we've got that initiated. Then we're going to jump to profits last year here. So we've got, again, I'm just using exactly the same pattern as I did in the last one. And then I'm jumping to profit growth here, which is going total profits minus profits last year. So if you're so just as an as an aside, and, and um, you you may have, may have heard me say this before, but this is this is where measure branching comes into its own, right? You start with these simple calcs, and then you branch out. You see that you know as I've gone through those formulas, none of them are exceptionally difficult. It's just I've gone one step after another, and if you because if you try and write, write all these formulas out in one go, it can get very very complex. But if you step through them like this then it becomes a bit more intuitive and you can then reuse those initial core measures in lots of different other places, right? So that's why it's essential to implement measure branching wherever you can. Okay, so that's going to give us, so if you think about it, that those steps have given us this year and year growth and this profit growth, right? But we need to somehow, we need to somehow uh, create a, there's a little bit of additional logic here. We've got to say, well, what is above zero and what is below zero? Because I actually wanted to put some additional insight into this uh, where I could actually see, okay, well, where am I above zero profit gross versus below? And so that uh, is not initial, that is not actually in our models, right? Because this is a, this is a, a derivative, like an insight um, that is far further down the tr um, the chain of um, branches or measure branches than say our initial uh, calcs or the things that would be in our table. There's no way to slice this, right? And so this is where some of my more advanced analytical techniques inside of Power BI really come into their own. So what I had to do was I first of all had to create a table. I created a table which I called profit logic and I and all I did was I this all of this table is doing is it's creating some sort of uh, uh, legend or slicer that I can put into my data right and so I've gone above zero and below zero so now if, if I've created this table I can somehow integrate it into my model and so okay so I've created that and then I come into into here and then I've got to create two measures one which evaluates the above zeros and one which evaluates the below zeros and so this is exactly what I've done with this measure here. I've said, okay, well, if my show me show me the profit growth. I want to calculate the profit growth, uh, uh, but before we do that, I want to evaluate every single customer, and I want to evaluate is that has that customer's growth been above zero in this case, because that's what this value is here. So it's saying. If this customer is above zero, calculate the profit growth. I've then gone and done this again, but I've said if the, calculate profit growth if the customer's growth is below zero. Okay, so so that's going to evaluate every customer ultimately, those two formulas, right? But then we need to do one other formula that says, okay, well, if the um, if the profit growth, uh, profit profitability change value or dimension is saying above zero, then I want you to go and retrieve the increased profits measure. If it's not, then the decreased profits measure. And then what happens, right, is that we can, so you see here I've got this profitability change uh, in, my, in my legend here. Well, if I can take that away, you'll see that this is evaluating everything below zero. But if I bring this in, then it's going to go and evaluate. It's going to evaluate this measure here, which will then go and reach back into these measures here. So heat, quite a few layers there, right? I understand that this is quite advanced, but I just love showcasing this stuff because that's why Power BI is just so amazing. Um, so pretty cool, pretty cool insight, right? And then, so now we've got the our scatter chart that breaks those down, and that's where we can really dive into our data because we can reuse, we can reuse this profitability change in different measures as well. So you see that really quickly you can say, okay, well, profit growth here, year-on-year -year growth here, and this is how we can evaluate 
as I, as I showed you earlier, we can evaluate. So I can go, okay, well, let's have a look at below zero. And then within this chart, I'm going to go, well, is the year on year growth greater than or equal to zero? Uh, is it, no, sorry, it's, uh, is, um, is the year on year growth is less than or equal, no, so it's gonna be greater than or equal to zero. And here we go. And so these are the customers. These are the customers that are dragging down our profitability even though their revenue is growing. And that's the insight. We've finally, finally found the insight, right? Okay, so this one's gone on a little bit longer, but um, but amazing insight, right? So there's this such this is you know from from my commercial background, you know, this is the stuff you really want to know. This is the stuff that's really going to add value to how you operate a business, etc. You know, these are the insights that you'd you'd find very difficult to know if you had a lot of customers, right? But Power BI can sort of unearth these things automatically if you just set it up well. Okay, so all the best with this one. Uh, if you, uh, as always, um, you know, I'm going to put this up um, to be down. Uh, you can download it. It just requires a small investment at Enterprise DNA TV Resources uh, through. Um, uh, just check out the description below for that. And um, yeah, good luck. Good luck implementing these sort of things. I mean, there's just so many applications. This is just this is just one. You just got to seriously expand expand your mind in terms of what's possible. Um, you know, all the best with it. Okay, talk to you soon. Cheers.